myself a little bit of fun here today. And uh, I'm going to try and set up a speed skinning video. So, what I find happens is speed skinning videos, they can take and produce blooper videos. So, we'll see what we have in store today. I think regardless, I am very open to the fact that it's going to be exciting. And anything can happen. And these coyotes here, this is a nice one here. I think it's nice. Yeah, it's nice and full. Look at that. Long and tall on the shoulder. Everything else is full. Nice and full on the sides. Nice full belly. Looks good. Nice female. And then over here is kind of a red bellied male. And uh, I'm not too sure about that one. That one is going to be a bit of a wild card. But at any rate, see if I got all my gear ready to go here. I'm going to use these clamps to pull today. Tail stripper. This is for flashing. A little bit later. Knife. Boom. Should be all I need. And then maybe just a little bit of uh, paper towel. Just in case things get a little ornery on me. Alright. Here we go. Let's put the knife on this boy. Alright. Here we go. Haven't skinned for a little bit. It's kind of caught up. Didn't check for a little while. And not sure how long either one of these were in the snare, but the reality is it was cold. So Time was on my side. As far as them staying good in the snare. Now I have tried skinning fast in the past and I have gotten Coyote juice in the face. I've wore these things like a necklace. Rip them off the ceiling. All kinds of interesting blooper videos. And I gotta take and do that. I gotta make some blooper videos because I have got them. And there's no better way to do it than to take and try to skin fast. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, skin this baby, skin this baby. Skin this baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Gotta do my own coaching, got nobody here. Let's go fast. Let's go fast. Got a good start. Got a good start. Got a good start. Come on, winch. Got a slow winch. Where's all the experts out there in YouTube land? Winch is holding me up. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Up and down, up and down. It's 
no way to win a speed skating contest right there. Up and down. Just got docked. Cut a big hole. Doing so good. But I cut it in his face. So that's okay. Boom. Where's the timer? Huh? So, my guess is, of course, there's a thousand guys that can skin them faster than us. But that's me skinning a coyote fast. However fast anybody else skins them. That is me scanning the coyote fast. But that's not what it's all about, right? How long does it take to get the next one up and running? Take and put this hide right here. And this one did skin nice. But the next one, the next one is going to be a wild card. I got a feeling that there's going to be, come on, slightly, it will be slightly more challenging. Try to pick this one up. Okay, what do you got, buddy, huh? Yeah, I've skinned some pretty, some pretty crazy coyotes that have, uh, oh, they've left me. Well, at the time, I think there was, uh, there was some four-letter words that were flying around. And obviously it was crimping my, cramping my style that day. And that's how it goes. Generally speaking, you're never looking for a wreck. But yeah, I've had them, uh, I've had them come off, um, slap me in the face. Uh, this is a big dog right here. This is going to be possibly a little bit of a different situation. Gonna do that a little different. But uh, man, when that happens, boy, you can really find yourself in a situation where you just. You're gonna say you didn't see it coming. Or they're completely taken. Get unglued and uh, they'll take puke all over the place. Guts all empty. Not sure what that's all about. We got hair coming out. Not bad. A little bit. Not bad. There's some there. But you gotta be careful. You try not to find too many excuses to not they can skin a coyote. He's got some fur coming off of him, but we'll take and skin him. In fact, we're gonna skin him fast. Come on, big dog. He's gonna go fast. He's not a very clean guy, but he's graced my garage. We will take his jacket, knife, 
Con. What do we got, huh? One up. Two up. Oh yeah, he's got big legs. Yeah, a couple weeks ago, I really took him. Oh, I managed to take him. Wreck my thumb. And I'm a right-handed guy, but I find out that uh, when I'm skinning, I do lots with my left hand. That's gonna cost time. That's gonna cost time. Oh, this guy's got a. This guy's got problems. This guy's got problems. That's okay. Come on. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, okay. Up. And on. Loosen her off. And on, down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, time, come on, time, come on, time, come on, time. Big boy, what you gonna do? What you gonna do, huh? You gonna come off? Come on. Oh, he doesn't like it, doesn't like it. How's your time? How's your time? Come on, you gotta come, you gotta come, you gotta come. Off. Gotta get these out of the way. Gotta get them out of the way. I just can't abide them getting blood on. This 
this is not. My first game. Bang! That's a big nasty dog that just got skinned right there. Didn't do too bad. I like them. No nicks on them or nothing. Looks like he's gonna flush pretty good. I'll just take and wrap him up. Dispose of this carcass. And That's my speed skin video. Everything went right today, for the most part. This one here didn't give me a very good time, but that's two dogs done pretty quick, I think, by my standards anyway. So I'm gonna take and clean this up and uh, get my flushing beam down, quickly sweep up a little bit, and uh, on to the next project at hand. Next video, flushing 101, peace.